here in the Ward 1 Moss Bluff community. Um, uh, most of you know Mr. Manuel pretty much paved the way for this facility at the end of the road. Uh, he put a lot of heart and soul into the facility that exists at the end of this road. Uh, his efforts with Buddy Ball, uh, he coached. Uh, he was very active in securing funding for that facility and uh, a lot of his heart and soul was there uh, and um, uh, at, with being respectful to the wishes of the family uh, we have this road here that will be renamed in his honor uh, to reflect his um, dedication and pursuits with the children of this community and to give them a place to become better citizens uh, we just really want to take this morning to honor him uh, and give dedication to his memory and service. So once again, I appreciate everyone being here. I'd like to introduce a couple of people real quick. We have Mr. Brian Bean, Parish Administrator. We have Mr. Hal McMillan, uh, Police Juror. Mr. Chris Landry, Police Juror. And Mr. Guy Brain, President of the Police Jury. I'd like to give them a and at this time, I'd like to uh, allow Mr. McMillan to say a few words who served with Mr. Manuel for many years. Mr. McMillan. Thank you, Shannon. I'm honored to be here today on behalf of Don Manuel. Of course, Don's spirit would be here. He would be happy. He would be smiling. And he would uh, he would definitely have a, a grin on his face thinking about us here honoring him today. Don Manuel, a few things I know about him personally. He was a family man. Dorothy, he loved you. He loved his family. It's, it's just one of those things that Don Manuel was a family man first. Of course, God was first, then his family. And you know, something about Don is he was a veteran, and he served our country. And there was many times that I went to funerals of veterans, and he would be there in the honor guard. Don Manuel loved his country and served his country well. And then you get to the police jury work. Manuel McMillan. I got to sit right next to him. And y'all didn't probably see it because a lot of things go behind the scene, but every once in a while, Don would get to rocking or get to thinking or get to staring out, and he was giddy. You could, he was giddy. You could, I'd reach over and I'd poke him. He'd hook, he'd jump. I had such great fun having Don Manuel as my friend and really my near neighbor at the police jury. He was a wonderful man that I learned a lot of things from. I called him a leprechaun. This guy could find money where there was no money to be found. I'm telling you, he always had somebody at the state level, at the federal level, and definitely at the parish level that he could come up with some kind of funds for somebody. The seniors, the seniors were in his heart. He always wanted to do something for the seniors and the senior citizens, everything he could do for the senior citizens here in Moss Bluff and the senior center. But then, the other passion that I saw in his eyes and his heart was when Buddy Ball would happen. He loved his Buddy Ball. He made sure those kids were taken care of. Don Manuel had a servant heart. He was here to serve every one of us. That was the true epitome of a guy who would give you the shirt off his back. That's the best way to describe Don Manuel. He would do anything for you. When I got my auctioneer license, I can tell you I've done many benefits being the auctioneer for Don Manuel's benefits right out there at the VFW or any other American Legion or any other event you would always see Don Manuel there. He was he would always pop up. I thought there were three or four of him because everywhere I'd go, I'd see Don Manuel. He was always there. When we'd go down to the conventions at the different cities we would go to, whether it be New Orleans or Baton Rouge or Shreveport or Monroe, Don Manuel knew people throughout this state that loved him. We're gathered here today as a small representation of the people that love Don Manuel. And once more, what he was doing, he was interfacing with these folks to find money for his district right here in Calcasieu Parish. What a great day it is to have this honor. God bless Don Manuel. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. McMillan. And again, we are here to honor Mr. Manuel. And uh, and if we could, we'd like to have Manuel's family uh, uh, move over to the sign. And we will begin with revealing the new road name. <clears throat>
that was very good, Miss Dorothy. I couldn't have done it better myself. <laughs> but uh, we now have a new name, Don Manuel Boulevard, um, which will go to a facility that is one of the premier facilities in this community. And with that said, we would like to present this as a token to the family, mm -hmm. which is a miniature sign, Don Manuel Boulevard. And uh, this will be here to honor his name for a very long, long time. Many, many, many people will drive past this sign and drive on this road in honor of his memory. So I just want to thank the family for allowing us to do this. And God bless, and God bless Mr. Man. Thank you. My apologies, everyone. I just wanted to introduce Mr. Calvin Collins real quick, who uh, who made the trip. So, uh, thank you for being here, Mr. Collins. Thank you to the family, everyone. Thank you for being here, and I hope everyone has a great day and a great weekend. And again, God bless. <laughs> Oh, you want to take a picture with it? Oh, oh. <laughs>